Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Star Sector Corvus Mode. Last time, we took out Jane Meredith and her unique Sunder and Hammerhead, the Sunder of which we captured, the Fracture. Uh, it's currently mothballed because we just captured, of course, it's a complete wreck. Now, the interest in today's episodes, of course, is the fact that at the moment we have two Tritachion Executor fleets coming after us at the moment. Um, which should be quite entertaining. Quite entertaining. As we're here, can we capture Chaos Hideout? How big is Chaos Hideout? Chaos Hideout is size 2. We're gonna capture that quickly, seeing as we're here. We literally just finished the fight. And we make peace with Neutrino. And we're gonna get paid by for the IBB. That hasn't, that hasn't kicked in yet. Come on. There you go. Paid for the IBB. Remember, we have two executive fleets coming after us. And frankly, that's a little bit creepy. Diablo Imperium talks break down. Someone coming in. Trade is not accurate on Prism Freeport. Okay. We're speed 8 now because of you, aren't we? Someone did mention that fact that because we're speed 8 because of you now, a lot of like augmented engines can go away because they're raising our speed to 9. Yep, we can we can lower our speeds to 8. I'll keep the uh, the drive expansions conversions because they do add a lot more than just the burn level. They give a lot of speed in the actual combat, which is useful. Okay, so we're still recovering CR. Okay, we got paid some stuff. Say hi to Chaos Hideout. Where is it? It's over here. Go quickly capture these guys. Predicted losses none. I'm assuming that the response fleet is. What? Come on! How is that even remotely. Like. Oh, for God's sake. Fine, whatever. The reason that planet is going to be so easily conquered is because it all every single soldier that planet has is clearly on its fleet. Right, we're doing this old-fashioned way then. Moon Antipax on me and you, you. Rally carrier to you. Capture orders for that and that. And how random. Like, what a mismatch of size of fleets and base. A size 2 base that has maybe one marine standing in it. Two marines. Has a huge response fleet. It really makes no sense. It really makes no sense. A lot of people have wanted me to, to, to go get a um, Templar commission. I will do, but I'm on, the wrong, I'm on the wrong side of the map. To be fair, also, if I get a... Um, if they manage to join the Alliance, then we won't need the commission. Hello. That was even bit, me being a bit bold there. Good, 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 good. Good, 
You're down as well. And that's gonna take a couple of hits. Intercepted by a by a missile or by a fighter. Right, the the battle carrier is here now. Battle cruiser. Quick, simple, and easy. Claim victory done. Pretty much everything killed. I'll let them go. We can capture a Hecate. Don't care about a Hecate. Grab this stuff. Anything of this stuff I actually want. I'll take a tactical laser. And the rest can go. Don't particularly care about the rest of it. Invade that. Simple, quick, and easy. Uh, does, does that help me slightly with the Tritechion, or are they so angry they don't care? Uh, I think worth grabbing here. We'll go back and trade at the hello. That was. Probably a stupendously bad idea. Yep. Okay. Prison Freeport it is. Go. You have seven days. We have three days to get there. Three days to get there. Come on. One day to get there now. Five, four, three, two, one. No supplies. No supplies. No su Hello. <laughs> Just in time. Just in time. Uh, sell, 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 sell. Buy the lot of you. Um, just in time to have a look at around what we need. You can, we can technically drop you, but you are increasing our max our speed by 10%. Which is, okay, I guess not that, hang on, so... Increases the zero flux speed boost by 30, that's why we're having this, because it makes our zero flux speed boost plus 80 rather than plus 50, so that is a huge speed increase. That's why I'm keeping that on there. Uh, you don't need... Augmented Engines probably can go for you. Could go, but again... It's a, it's more about the speed in combat, because you go from like... You drop from... 114 to 184... to 84, and that's slow. Um, and this doesn't... It used to impact fuel, but no longer does, so it's fine. Augmented engines for you. Against keeping you up and active. You don't have anything. Drive conversion for you is less relevant, maybe? So we can probably give you something else. What can you give you? I could give you the salt fitting. What could you do for you? Hardened subsystems, maybe? Because you got high maintenance, so that would be an actual, like, counteracting the high maintenance. There's just 15 to play around with, which is hardened control systems, auxiliary thrusters, integrated targeting unit to increase your range. It would be interesting to have an integrated targeting unit, actually. Yes, go for that. Take an, integrated, take an ICU. You can just have all this stuff. Because you're fast anyway, you have a drive conversion, which is not as necessary anymore. I don't know, I, I still think it's useful. I still think it's useful. I still think things that these things are, are vaguely useful because of the speed increase they provide. How are we doing?
Augmented engines on you, less required, perhaps. Although you are very slow without it. You are exceedingly slow without it, and I can't give you the drive conversion. Alright, take keep it keep it up. Keep it on. Um Go for the high torque motor to give it increased tur turn time for everything up here and also increases range. Bit of a rough buff to everything. Uh, you augmented engines with you is less required because you definitely don't need that. Um, which means we can probably give you some more weapons. In fact, um, more burst speedies or. A couple more burst speedies, I'm fine with that. I'm giving you a couple burst speedies. Boop, boop. Uh, give you advanced optics. Yeah. Extend your shields. And you are damaged beyond, but not, you're not damaged beyond repair, we can just repair you up, right? We can go into here, go into you, unmothball you, repair you up. Right, what can we do with you? So the K is it going to be the KNS fracture? KNS fracture. Because it's one, okay, ooh, heavy, heavy blaster, heavy blaster, double heavy blasters, interesting. Ballistic defense turrets, we can go for. We got a couple of Vulcan cannons, we can keep those. Yeah, we bought a couple of Vulcan cannons. Um, large energy. A silver lance. Interesting. What are you when you're at home? And a couple of missiles. Maybe a couple of maybe a couple of banishes, perhaps. If I okay, wank you up all of that, boom, 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 boom. You have speed of nine anyway, so ITU uh, Ogs thrusters. Okay, now if I did that, 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 that. What is exactly what exactly is a silver lance? Because you have the heavy blasters first of all, which are there, which of course they hurt. Mm. Okay, now Bennett repeated, of course. And this was the, what's this, what is the Silver Lance? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. It just skewers the target, does it? I like it. Also because of the amount of damage it's doing to the to, to to armor here is actually quite impressive. So look at, look at, look at the right side. Let's see if I can strip the armor off that side completely. I like it. I actually do like it. Probably not on an AI thing, but I like it. I do think that's kind of quite cunning. Um, again, perhaps not on a um, on an AI ship, because frankly I'm not sure if I can guarantee it'll miss everything, because it will hit everything in its path. Um, but that's interesting. That is very interesting. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll buy you and I'll keep you for whenever I have something that can use it. Uh, quarks kinetic, quarks accelerator cannon. Okay, so what's the, what else do we have here? We have a Ulan Siege laser, of course, which is the one that the diable one. Oh, 
I'm not sure what it's called. This is, this is called a siege laser, because it's clearly not a laser. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, let's try out everything we can, because we've got space and got, it's got the point to spare. I'm kind of delaying the fact that I have to fight a massive ship at some point. Hello. Looks impressive. Doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage. Is it more damage if I if I if I if, if it comes really really close? I wonder. Is it more damage if it's like up here? No, it's actually less damage. You have to give it give it time to spread completely. Once it's through armor, how does it? What is it like when it's just through armor? It does damage. Ultimately, not a fan though. What's it actually? Yeah. This is the Neutron Lance. Just has a... Very, just does a lot of damage very quickly. Yeah, that'll do. I mean, that's pretty decent. Especially if it, if it turns on the... that. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Compare that to Tachyon Lance. It has fires not as fast, but it does way more burst damage. What about you? What about you? What do you like? much of a fan either. I might as well try everything out. Um, a Bane. I've heard things about the Bane. Particle Lance, Sunstorm, always very nice, Iden Beam Generator, Tractor Beam, Neutron Pulse Battery, do I, do I like you? I can't, remember, I can't remember if I like you, let's find out if I like you. Slow projectiles, but they do pack quite a punch. Interesting. Interesting. Still not that much of a fan of it. I think I think we're gonna go for um Let's see, what about you? What are you when you're at home? Quark's Accelerator Cannon. It's meant to be an anti-shield thing, I get that. So let's... Let's actually break out the shield... The shield ship. There are two ships on top of each other there, so they're not really... Now, because of the... I think because of the... The, the, um, the heavy blasters, I want something that can be in and deal damage a lot of the time. So, the plasma cannon looks good. Heavy pulsar beam, let's try you out. Although you look appalling. I must say, you look absolutely quite bad.
That is dealing a substantial amount of damage, actually. That is not bad at all. It just looks very weird as a as a weapon. Um, I'm sure you've used, I think you used a heavy E and B for something else at some point. It's about what sixty per move. Nah. Oh, no, 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 heavy blast. Uh, now, where was it? We might just go Silver Lance. Let you work it. Let, let you work that out. You know, Silver Lance. Let you deal your do your thing with the Silver Lance. See how much it wrecks our own our own guys. Uh, Comed, uh, mercenary officer. What are you, Blake? Aggressive. No thanks. Right. Uh, Chaos Breaker. Do you want to move to the Fracture? Rani Balok, you can move to the Fracture. Move the Fracture up a bit. The Rancor... Uh, if I go into you and link those... Okay. Uh, same with you, I think. Actually, not you, because you have different weapon sets. But you want to have linked weapons. Good. Pleasant. Prepare up. Bought everything we need to buy. Right. Let us deal with these guys then. What do they got here? One Gigantophis, one Apogee, one of those huge carriers, some sharp discs or whatever it's called. Okay, here we go. First of the executive fleets. Quick save. There you go. And first executive fleet, go. This is the end for you, Nemo. The Tritachian Corporation wills it. Okay, what have they got? Low CR on a lot of the ships, which I like. Um, okay, what have you got? Sharp Dis with Tachyon Lance. And a pair of Pax Cannons. Okay, um, uh, Gigantophis, anything major, Apogee, with a couple of Ron lasers, a couple of Scaleron repeaters, and a plasma cannon. You have Revenant, a couple of Mjolnir cannon, a Mjolnir cannon, a couple of antimatter blasters, a couple of arrows. I get the Revenant and the Doom confused occasionally. Uh, Vulture class. The captain, apparently, is in a Basilius-class escort missile frigate. Very weird. Not sure why, but there you go. A couple of beholders. The Medusa has... Phase Lances. Heavy Needler. Heavy Blasters. Ron Laser Lightning Guns. Antimatter Blasters. Heavy Iron Blasters. Tachyon Lance on you as well. You're not going to fight. Hyperion. Heavy Blaster. Heavy Ion Blaster. Okay. Moving to engage. Go for it. Ooh, hello. It's a big fleet. Okay, we got to really measure up what we're doing now. Okay, this gives us, what, 19 to go. We can, give us, we can get the Elder Orb. I could take the Elder Orb. I kind of wish I had one more point to spend so I could take in the... Um, Wibbly Giblet. But, nah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. As things get, <laughs> As things get destroyed, he said with pessimism. Um, we'll bring other, th other ships in. Okay, so... Rally Carrier and capture orders for that and that and that. Um, not a lot of stuff is, is set for backups at the moment, so... 
You come with me, how about that? You head off with... Okay, I'm trying out this little makeup. I'm putting the Chaos Breaker on on a, on a defensive system at the moment. Those captured really, really soon. Attacking a lance, I'm gonna reload, I'm gonna vent while I can. Good. That was the biggest big threat one done. Basilius down? That guy's still around, which is I find I find that guy why is that guy in a fine. The Gigantophis is there, the Revenant. Apogee's down. Beholder's down. Whoa, hello! That gong noise is a very serious noise. But they're, just, they're retreating, so it's fine. Where'd they go? Oh, it jumped all the way. Okay. Jumped all the way over there. There you go. Got it. Down. I think we probably got everything we needed to get out of these guys. A lot of stuff escaped, but uh, we'll let him go. Capture Beholder, we've got an Elder Orb, so I don't particularly care about a Beholder. Blow it up. Plenty of supplies. Get a couple more prisoners, a Ron Laser, a Pax Cannon, a Heavy Blaster, some Sabo, some more fuel. Some random crewmen. Um, That's nah, fine. Tactical Lasers are fine. Heavy Leaders are fine. Lightning Guns I can sell. The rest of it I don't particularly care about. Pluto Brax leveled up. You go, Pluto Brax. How are you doing? Damage control level 10. Sounds good to me. Oof. What a random, crazy happenstance. Uh, quickly repair up while we're here. Running from my fleet. I bet you are. The guy's technically still alive, so kind of... Part of me won't... Uh, of course we have. We've been repulsed. But anyway, that's one of the executive fleets that dealt with. Uh, we captured Chaos Hideout. Actually, let me reevaluate everything, because I think I did, I've been forgetting to update a couple of my fleets sometimes. So if I go into my faction directory and me... So what have we actually got? Let's do some maths. Like, let's do a full load-up. K 
Okay, so pirate stuff in all. We have two from Chaos Hideout, five from Umbra, total of five from all of Barad, um, Aura Script is four, Preclusion is three, Limbo is three, Parenthesis is five, Kairos was five. Oh god, it's Kairos Pirate now. Kairos was, yeah, Kairos was Pirate. Right. Oh god, I can't remember now. Uh, Tritachion. Tritachion, we have Duality, which is three. Thumb Listening Post, which is three. Diablo, we have four uh, for Operation Base, which is four. Shadow Yards. Udana was Shadow Yards. Outpost Tiger was Shadow Yards. Three. So Chaos Pirate, Umbra was Pirate, Outpost Tiger was Shadow Yards, Barrett Pirate, Barrett Pirate, Duality, Tritachion, Auris Pirate, Preclusion Pirate, Ford Operation Base, Diablo, Thalm, Tritachion, Limbo, Pirate, Perinthus, Pirate, Karas, Pirate, I think? And Udana Station, uh, Shadow Yards. So that's a total of six Tritachion, four Diablo, eight Shadow Yards, and one, two, twenty, thirty-two pirate. Which means my fleet is mostly pirate by far. Ah. Uh, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's our first executive fleet down. And uh, we have ourselves a, the that looks really like the uh, silver lance looks really interesting. To I didn't actually see what it, if it did a lot, but it looked really interesting. In yeah, just before we head off, just before I, I want to try out against like something major. So if I go into this and bring out the high tech version, the high tech version. If I'm correct, the high tech version is meant to emulate a Paragon, like a Paragon class vessel. So, what does the Silver Lance do to you? Okay, it is, it is vastly mitigated by the shields. So, if you, manage to, if you manage to deal with the shields... There you go. That is very, very nice. And if I just try again, if I go for the same spot again. Yeah, I like the Silver Lance. You kind of want to, you kind of want to make sure that you manage to get it through the shields. Because if you get it through, it does, it does a lot of damage to shields. Yes, but if you get it through the shields into the hull, it just rips armor apart. And I like it very, very much. It fractures the armor, so to speak. Anyway, to end on that horrible, horrible pun, uh, I will catch you guys next week. See you then. Bye.